Blessed Redeemer. In the future, the Lord revealed a stone monument beside the house with words printed on it. What's the spirit of death? I repeat it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In a vision, the Lord revealed one of the senior leaders, says to another senior leader, Office 24. Interpretation, new venue. Not like music poetry, it's weird. It's better. Come on. Yeah, I'll be standing for new venue. A senior spiritual leader has a healthy left hand, but no right hand, only fingers on the shoulder. Revelation like that. He moves around instead of walking. He sits on a secretary chair. You know, the secretary chair has wings on there. So instead of walking around, he sits on the chair and waves around to talk to the people. Wait. Come on, that's weird. But you have to say what God said. Instead of walking. Explanation. Before interpretation, the fingers means departments and committees. The fingers attached to the shoulder mm. of the right shoulder means departments and committees. Wow. The mobile chair means the leader is tired. He's tired. He's overworked. Are you there? No right hand. He, he needs a right hand. Amen. Oh my God. She, uh, he has committees and department, but he needs a right hand. He needs somebody to stand there. He needs a Timothy. But it was a Timothy worshiping. That's what they're going to say. He needs a Joshua. Yeah, somebody here. He needs a Elisha. Yes, 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 that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. You can't do everything. You're tired. Don't wheel around on any secretary wheelchair. Come on, you must be able to walk and sit be strong. Yes. Yes. You need a right hand. Somebody right. say right hand. Right hand. It's a revelation. It's, it's just, you know. <laughs> if you want to look good, don't announce them. You know? <laughs> Someone is injuring a child. From going to a spiritual leader. Every time the child went to the spiritual leader and this person comes and hindering the child from communicating with the spiritual leader. Kind of like what they did with Jesus. And they see the children come in yeah. and they try to hinder the child. Mm. The Lord said, For be not the children from salvation. Somebody hindering a child from serving the Lord. God said, don't do it. Don't do it. Let the child. You may have understand. You may say, he gives so much trouble at home. Why she gives so much trouble? Right. She's doing it. No. Release a child. Let them serve the Lord. Don't stop them from playing the drum because they, they can wash the plates. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You're not going to church. You're not going to do the past Friday. Because you came home late. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't give no church punishment. Say, yeah, you're, you're not going to church because it's a discipline. Don't do that. Amen. I say, you're not going to play, you're not going to sing on the choir, you're not going to. I am going to do five other kind of punishment. You get it? Yes, sir. She's hard to discipline. Yes, sir. Super thing. Someone, this one is very, very hard. Someone reminds a leader. Of a vision of a very sad person. Very, very sad person. I do it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I do it in Jesus. This one is tough. Tough. In a vision, 
the numbers are seen at 93 over 93. That means that 93 is the numerator and 93 is the denominator. Not yet understood. Not yet understood. Last one. A, a church. Oh, let me say this a different way. Woo! A different way. A man of God. A man of God. Sit at his home and began to pray. I said, Lord, let him call me. Let him call me. This revelation came from 2017. When a man of God said, let him call me. Why? Because he saw visions of a great man calling me. Huh. So at this time, when he saw certain people not working on his food, he said, Lord, let him call. And in a few minutes, a man called him. By the following day, he was preaching in his church. My God. Lord, uh, My God. Next week Sunday, that's where we're going to be. Amen. Next week Sunday. Lord. He's just weird like that. That's that prayerful request. Lord, let him call me. And in a few minutes, he called. Come on. And that man of God show up the following day. Just take him quiet. And the man who called said, No, you don't just come, you're going to preach for me. Jesus. And he preached for him. Next week, Sunday, that's where we will be. The venue will be changed. It's Friday. We're going to be Friday. This is the move of revelation. We can't get away. It's all about revelation. It's all about revelation. Amen. We thank God for this lovely place where I'm going to love this. These, these brethren, these homes, yes. the Rapid Chapel, yes. you know, that hosted us all this time. We love that. We love this place. Amen. But we got to follow the revelation. Amen. Next week, that's where we'll be. Don't look over there. Don't look over there. He just got the key. Don't look over there. Don't look over there.